Today we are going to be looking at Untitled Goose Game. Untitled Goose Game first launched on PC and Switch in September, and just recently on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which is where I played it. In fact, I subscribed to Game Pass on Xbox primarily to play this game. For those who have not seen the memes of this game or know nothing about it, you play the game controlling a goose as you progress through a small village. The goose you play as is not friendly as the only way to move forward is to be a nuisance to the townsfolk and harass those you encounter by scaring or stealing from them on your way through the village. You're provided with a list of tasks that need to be completed in each area. Some of them are somewhat no-brainers, but others require a bit more thinking on how to fulfill the task. The most straightforward ones involve stealing things and putting them in a specific location, like bringing a list of items to the picnic blanket or filling a shopping basket. But then there were ones that were not so obvious, like how to get the gardener to put on his gardening hat. The way the town folk react to your behavior is hilarious. Each person you encounter has a different reaction to your presence, and this where Untitled Goose Game gains so much of its charm. As a goose, you're not really able to do much of anything, and I believe that's what makes the game so approachable. Grabbing items, running, and honking are the only three things you can control the goose to do, so solving puzzles are not really that difficult, given that you can only perform those actions. The three hours I put into Untitled Goose Game was enough to complete the story. Whereas I'm happy that for a three hour review I'm able to give full impressions of the entire game, it is a bit unfortunate however that the main story is complete after such a short amount of time. There are achievements for completing additional tasks as well as speedrunning, but time will tell if I replay the game in the near future. Untitled Goose Game is one of the most enjoyable indie games I've played this year. It is a unique and funny concept that can be enjoyed alone or as a couple discussing collaboratively how to approach tasks and complete areas, all while laughing at the town folks' reaction on screen. Fortunately, I was able to play Untitled Goose Game as part of my Xbox Live Game Pass subscription. And if you're subscribed, this is a fun game that you can enjoy in an afternoon, by yourself or collaboratively with others. Paying upwards of $25 Canadian to purchase the game stand alone is a bit of a question mark for me, as it can be beaten such a short period of time. But the experience of a unique game such as this is something I do not think anyone should miss out on. So regardless of if you get it as part of your Game Pass subscription or pay for it, I most certainly recommend the Untitled Goose Game. Thank you for taking the time to watch my review. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like down below, and if you'd like to be notified of new content, subscribe to Sirlink Gaming. Ah.